Hi everybody, this is Greg Harding and uh, today I um, just want to give you a little video uh, tutorial about um, how I go about sharpening my images. Now, uh, you can see the image that's in front of you um, of this lady that's doing an inspection on a bag. Um, this was photographed recently uh, for a pharmaceutical shoot and um, I just want to show you a little bit about how it goes from uh, what you see on screen to the final sharpen. Uh, as you can see from, uh, we're in uh, Lightroom 4 at the moment. Uh, it's had some adjustments done to it just to uh, bring up the vibrance and you know the colour and you know, the exposure hasn't been changed much. Contrast has gone up a fraction. Um, clarity is the same. Um, vibrance is, is zero. And you can see from the sharpening um, uh, palette there's not actually a great deal of sharpening that's gone on um, in any of this. So um, uh, you can see one other thing I wanted to show you was this um, enable profile corrections. It's got all of the corrections, um, lens corrections for the, the particular uh, Canon uh, camera model that I was using as well as the, um, the lens profile. So it neutralizes all the uh, chromatic aberrations and that sort of stuff. Anyway purpose of this is to show you how to sharpen properly and now there's lots of different ways of sharpening um, and quite the best way that I've found and my go-to way is to use the high pass filter in Photoshop um, so here's um, a file that I pre I've presented to Photoshop and we can see in here we're now in Photoshop this is Photoshop CS4 um, so anyone with uh, in fact anyone with Photoshop 5.5 uh, and above can do this because the it hasn't changed that much so as you can see the image in front of us um, I'm just going to put it full screen you can see if we zoom in it's pretty sharp um, you know you can see the uh, there's good detail in the um, in the garment she's wearing um, so here is what I normally do um, you go to your background uh, layer you duplicate the background layer now that's um, Apple or command J on the, on a Macintosh probably command uh, control J on a PC uh, and that gives you a duplicate to work with um, I then go to desaturate uh, that so it drops it to black and white now that's uh, command shift U uh, but basically you're after a black and white version of, um, of uh, you know, for that layer. Now, here's the clever bit. So you go to filter up here, you go to other, and then go to high pass. Now, uh, with large files, you'll want a fairly aggressive radius, okay? Um, with smaller files, you'll find that uh, you don't need quite so much. But what you're after, or what I look for when doing a high pass filter is little edges that creep in and I don't know how you know don't know whether you can see those particularly well but you can st start to see like a little bass relief coming through from that now I'm going to put something like 3.3 radius on there and I'm going to say okay now you can see it's sort of that hasn't done a great deal but when you change the um, the layer blend from normal to overlay You'll start to see that that has sharpened that up quite considerably. Now if I switch between, uh, if I turn that layer off and then turn the layer on, you'll start to see a big difference. Hopefully you can see that um, on the screen. And that is actually how, that's as, that's as simple as it gets. So uh, if, we, if we step back I can show you what we do. You would then just, um, you would then flatten the image, uh, you know, to, to actually um, commit your, the changes. But I'll show you how you do that again very quickly. So uh, you duplicate the layer, strip it to black and white, do your high pass filter, and then change the blend layer to overlay. If you don't want quite so much of a change, you can change it to soft light, which is quite nice. Or indeed, if you um, like the crispness of overlay, you can drop the opacity so you use less of the sharpening. Now the only um, the reason I do all my sharpening in Photoshop um, you know, is because I want the sharpening to be um, prepared for the output file. 
So if I know that it's going to be going out to you know, a large billboard or a magazine or something like that, I will sharpen it for that purpose. Most of the things that um, get sharpened for uh, web don't need a lot of um, sharpening. And therefore, if you do keep the layer um, uh, as a TIFF file, you can actually drop the, um, drop the layer away or indeed um, reduce the opacity of it and then output the file as different um, JPEG or whatever. So thanks very much for uh, listening. I hope that's been informative for you. And uh, I shall have uh, more hints and tips coming up very soon. So stay tuned and thanks very much.